lot of you know a lot of guys in the NFL all year life long. Is it ever tough to figure out to like focus on one person's message when you have a lot of people that want to be your mentors? No, not really, because they're all trying to give me the good, good message, the good insight on the game, and really just learn. So every time somebody new come up to me, I try to take that with a grain of salt and just keep moving forward. What's Patrick Peterson been like so far in the first few practices you guys have together? Man, he's been great. Uh, he just really took me in under his wing and just telling me the ropes, showing me the ropes, and uh, I'm glad to have him on my squad because without him, I wouldn't be able to learn so much about the game so fast like I am right now. You've been you know, your style of play. Whenever I watch you, you're very aggressive. You, get, you like to get in people's faces, use your hands, play aggressive style. Is that is there a way that you have to kind of approach learning, kind of relearning how to be aggressive in the NFL versus college? Uh, not really. There's some little things that I can do, like after five yards, you can't touch the guy at all. So right. compared to college, so just me and Coach Grady just really been going over that, going through some of my old tapes, going through the tapes I've been through now. I practice and seeing the difference of how I play the game, and I feel like we're learning, we're learning pretty quickly. So I'm good right now. I know it's still pretty early, but just how has the adjustment process been? How do you feel like you've been getting up to speed with life in the NFL? I mean, it's great. The first, the first two days were kind of tough, you know, really just getting the hang of it, the speed, the pace, and really just knowing the defense. But now since it's like my fifth. Fifth, sixth day out here has been really good. Uh, I'm kind of know what I'm doing a little bit more, communicating more, so it's been great. How have things been? Just kind of getting up to speed, getting acclimated. Does it feel like life in the NFL is the next Did that big step, or has it felt like you know pretty similar in terms of speed wise? There? Nah, it's really unreal. You know, like at the end of the day, this is dreams come true. So right now, I'm living my dream currently, and uh, I mean, it's still lots of things I need to learn and things like that. So I'm just waiting, you know. I'm sure this is kind of a classic question too, but just how's it been working with Kenny and how have, in all the quarterbacks in general, but just Kenny specifically, what have you seen from him that's been good to work with? Uh, I feel like with Kenny, I mean, every everything's like, well, probably just mainly all quarterbacks across the lead. Uh, I mean, every throw is like right there. Like, you know, like it's different from college or high school, like even high school, like not every throw is perfect. When you get here, it's just like everything on the time thing. I got to be right. I got to get my routes right or whatever it may be. You know, just to, just to get the timing right and things like that for the offensive play. I know it's only day five, but what's been the biggest thing you've learned from Pat and working with the other tight ends? Uh, really a lot when it comes to, I mean, I played at Georgia, so I thought uh, I come here, I know mainly a lot of things already, but I mean, I still got tons of tons of things to learn and things like that when it's like little details of routes and how to sell it, just a little head movement or things like that. It's just little things like that could lead to big things, you know. Was there a moment where it was like, damn, okay, these are all throws. Like, this is a little different here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, what day was I can't really remember exactly which day, but last week, you know, uh, I'm out there and, uh, you know, a little press man and things like that. And I was just like, like, it's real. Like, it's real. You know, college, most teams didn't really try it and things like that. But now, like, you know, there's a chrome man and things like that. Guys that have been in the league for 10 plus years or X amount of years. So. Lots of football in their background, things like that. So. We hear Mike Tomlin kind of talk all the time. For rookies specifically, you know, find yourself an older guy, attach yourself to him, study him, see how he, you know, works on his body, things on those lines. Is there anyone in specific, anyone in particular, you kind of try to do that with, or just kind of everybody? Yeah, kind of just everybody. Uh, you know, I got Pat to lean on, Zach to lean on, and uh, even Connor. I mean, he one year, mo one more year than me. So, uh, just for sure, my position group. Uh, I know uh, no one really specific, but it's just a little bit of everybody. You know, old lineman to <laughs> he, he, he's a clown. But uh, yeah, you know, everybody tried to. Coach Tomlin has talked about your mentality as a sixth offensive lineman. Where does that come from? Uh, I really just come with the mindset, you know, at tight end, uh, we're not just catching balls and scoring touchdowns, things like that. Uh, you know, we also got to block. And uh, I mean, if you can't block, you really can't play in the league for a long time. So. I mean, it's 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 honestly crazy, you know. Like uh, we're both kind of living the dream together. Um, I cheer for him, like I watch him out there, like I want him to do well, but I don't want him to beat my fellow offensive linemen. It's a love hate that I got, but. Uh, I'm happy, doing very well, and happy he's here. Is there any kind of extra conversations you're having? I'm sure you ask this a lot, but any extra conversations with the two of you, you know, you have no pointers, things like that, or is it just, you guys just talking football, you talking life? Uh, for sure, like, I'll tell him, like, if I see something, he'll tell me if like, he sees something, you know, so we just help each other like that, just trying to get better every day. 
coming into OTAs, it's football and shorts, but still kind of gelling and finding, you know, how you work with other guys and things like that. How do you feel your adjustment has been to this group so far at this point? I think it's a great group. I mean, I was with Isaac for three years in Philadelphia, but uh, I'm just super happy to be here. They just welcome me. Um, hardworking group, good football players, and I'm just hoping I can add to it. What's been the best thing about learning from some of the, the uh, linemen that have been here already for the last few years? I mean, it was a young group already, but you get a few new guys added, including some rookies. So what's been the biggest thing that you've taken away from this group so far? Um, I just think everyone's, like, willingness to help each other get better and uh, help each other and point things out. There's no hating on each other. Everyone's like, wants everyone to do well and to play their best football, and I really appreciate that. Did you hear what uh, Kelsey said about Isaac a week or so ago? No. Jason Kelsey. What did he say? He said, irreplaceable, people don't realize how good he is. Yeah. Smart, great teammate. Is that kind of a universal opinion in Philly? Yeah, he's a genius. You know, he's a, he is. He's very smart. Um, he, he doesn't say much, that's why, but you know, I, I really look up to Isaac a lot. Like, he helped me a lot early in my young career. He's still helping me. But, yeah, I mean, everything Kelsey said, like, I second that. Where's the genius show up? Football, anything. Football, he just, his X's and O's, like, he understands schemes and concepts better than most people do. When you guys were in Philly, were you, like, fighting for the same spot, or were you on the field at the same time? Uh, we'd be on the field at the same time. I've, I think I've started a few games on the other side of him, but uh, you know, it's, it's crazy to be here with him. It's cool. It's one of my good friends.